I have here a pair of Thieve skateboard trucks. Possibly one of the most expensive skateboard trucks on the market. Now these are a cool truck. I think they're around 200 Canadian, something like that. Now I'm just borrowing these from somebody. Now let's take a quick look at them. I, they are crazy. I don't know if we can actually do justice to these all in one sitting. But anyways, first off, these are all titanium. Now they've been modified, so they have a, what is this, a crux kingpin in here and bones bushings. So they've been modified by the owner. Now let's look at them. I mean, they're crazy. They look like some sort of like Viking axe or something or some sort of barbarian truck, like space age barbarian truck. Now, these have no axle, as in there's no different type of metal going through here. This is actually the same piece of metal as this. And when I was looking at them, I couldn't quite figure it out. But what I realized, so when they cast this thing, this axle actually goes probably the full length out to here. So it's probably, you know, like a full piece of meat right here. And what they have to actually do is machine this down. And you can tell there's like little lines. So it feels almost serrated here, which is from them machining this down so that this is a solid piece of material with this. And they've even created kind of a little spacer there. So that's amazing. So the axle is titanium along with this one solid piece. And what's crazy is look how little material there is right there. It's insane. This part right here that I'm pinching is literally about a quarter of an inch. Like totally insane, these trucks. You can see the bottom here. So Thieve, interesting. The only thing I would change is the name. Don't know why they chose that. These have a very short wheelbase, three quarters of an inch closer together than Thunders. So I am pairing them on this friendship deck that has a 14 and three quarter inch wheelbase, which is a very wide wheelbase. Now, you must be wondering how much do these trucks weigh? First off, the length of these, these are an eight and a half inch wide axle truck. So a 149 hanger. My Indy 149 standards are 400, let's see, I've got it written down. The 149s are 400 grams. How much do these weigh, these comparable width truck? 287 grams. So we have a 149 truck at 287 grams. That is insanely light. So anyways, I'm gonna ride them on the Friendship deck with some Bronson bearings and Spitfire wheels, 101 Formula 4s. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. So the height of these trucks also is, um, I think around 51 mils or so. It's um, the same as a Thunder Team Hollow Light when I lined them up. It was within half a mil or so. So not a particularly tall truck, not like an Indy or something. First test on this insanely windy day is the grind test. See if these can grind. So they don't grind on regular steel. I've tried them at another skate park too that has like square sort of stainless-ish coping. Doesn't grind. If you lean really hard you can do it. But if you've ever tried to grind aluminum before and found out how sticky it is, same feeling. Like trying to grind aluminum. No problems on concrete.
those are awful on granite and this is literally one of the slickest granite ledges so it felt like trying to grind a file and it smells like a cap gun it's kind of crazy <laughs> There's zero kingpin clearance issue, but I'm actually pretty scared to try Smith's, but I'll see if I can do one. So they do grind on really slick metal and coping, but I can feel that it's because it's riding on a layer of wax and that when this layer of wax comes off, that it'll bite a little bit more. So I switched these to my theories board quickly because this theories board has a half inch shorter wheelbase than my friendship board. So I want to see what this feels like with a shorter wheelbase and see if it makes the pot feel wimpy. I also want to figure out the manual point and we'll do one more test on grinding a metal edge on these. So no problem at all on either of those. I don't know if it's an alchemy type thing, like if the metal has some of the wrong types of metals in the steel, maybe it doesn't grind nicely, but on this it feels fine. It even has kind of a cool higher pitch sound, like you can hear the hardness of the metal when you grind. So let's try, see how the pinch is on feeble grinds and stuff on this flat bar. So real loose and at 149 and pretty low, they are a little bit wheel bitey, but not too bad. I'm gonna try a few more flip tricks on these now that I have that different wheelbase. So as a result of these being a little bit lower, more like the Thunders, but also having the wheelbase go in a little bit more, I would say the pop compared to the Thunders or to Indies is slightly anemic. Although if you got used to that timing, I think you could still like it and get some decent pop on them. But I would rather have Thunders or Indies in terms of actually getting like vertical leap. Generally though, I mean, they feel actually really good on this deck. I could definitely skate these and get into these. And the manual balance point was actually really nice as well. So that worked out, not much more to say there. These trucks do actually come stock with Bones bushings, which is kind of a cool thing. Not like any other trucks come stock with Bones bushings. It's time to wrap this up. So first off, I wanna talk about quality. I definitely get the impression that these are a high quality truck. In fact, like these might actually be a step up over Indies and Thunders in terms of like the amount of care and attention that are put into making a pair of trucks like these. Also, Thieves have a huge selection of trucks. Like it's more than any other brand, I think. You remember we talked about Aces being truck nerdery? Well, these are like the next level up of truck nerdery. Let's get into turning. How did these feel like they turned? I would say like an Ace and a Thunder, in between an Ace and a Thunder. So quite sharp and turny, not quite as squirrely as an Ace though, a little bit more manageable. So closer to a Thunder. Now let's get into pop. I would say, again, these pop somewhere between an ace and a thunder. So they actually felt kind of light, like they, they make the front of your board feel kind of light because of the shorter wheelbase. They really are insanely light. Okay, so here's another topic that's gonna seem a little bit weird to you guys. You know I've talked about it before, mall grabability. I am a mall grab lifer. These trucks have hands down 
the worst mall grab I've ever felt. Let's take a quick look at why. This part is sharp, like almost like an ax. So it's totally sharp here. And then it's got those big notches carved out of it. So when you hold it like this, these edges dig into your fingers. And when you try and change it, this edge digs into your thumb. So I'm not actually joking that these are the worst feeling mall grab trucks I've ever had. The next issue that I would get into is grindability. Really unpredictable grindability. These are not the kind of truck you wanna just jump onto a ledge without testing it out first. That would be actually reckless and dangerous. So really make sure that whatever you jump on feels good. In terms of pinch and stability, they felt great. I mean, I did the Smith grind, no clearance issues whatsoever. These have some of the biggest clearance I've ever seen. Pinch for crooked grinds was good. I mean, when I tried the granite, like I just couldn't grind on that. So you really can't gauge how it feels because it just didn't grind. So I was surprised granite didn't grind. Feeble grind, pinch felt good. What they feel like in terms of how they sit on ledges is like a thunder. They're a very similar height. They're just pitched back a tiny bit further. Durability would be the next subject I get into. I think these are actually insanely durable trucks. Now, if anybody's actually had them and found out otherwise, let me know. But I had a really, like, look at this truck. There's barely even a divot there. You guys remember how hard I worked on crooked grinds on these? I probably did about 30 crooked grinds on that ledge. Well, I might be exaggerating, at least 15 tries to 20 tries. And any other truck would have a fairly deep divot and these have literally nothing, which is probably why they can get away with having so little meat here. Jumping down stuff. I don't know if you'd wanna risk jumping down things. I can kind of assume that they must be really strong or they wouldn't have put them out. But here's the other thing. I think that anybody that can actually afford these trucks is old enough that they're not gonna jump down anything. So I kind of imagine that the person that's gonna buy these trucks is gonna be doing a lot of slappy grinds, maybe skating transition and bowls. These felt really good in transition, by the way. So they carved really nicely. A little bit low, so not as deep of a carve as an Indy, but the way they pinched on coping felt great. It ground really nicely on coping. Um, there was a little bit of a drag on my front side grinds and I couldn't tell if that was because that part of the coping wasn't waxed or if they were doing their weird catching on steel thing. So you could skate these in transition. You could also skate them well on pool coping, I would assume. So these do have potential for being a good old guy truck. For slides, lots of room here because the wheels are quite far back. But here's the one thing to consider. If what you're trying to slide has that stainless coping that this is gonna catch on, or if it's granite, it just sticks and it's gonna pitch you on your slides. So I don't actually know the cost of these trucks. I'm told they're really expensive, like might even be up to a couple hundred. So given that they're so expensive and the grinding is so unpredictable, I really can't imagine buying these trucks myself ever because I need to know that I can grind on anything. I don't want to have to test everything out before I jump on it and I don't want to get pitched. So that is a bit of a deal breaker for me, but they're interesting. And because I think these are such a high quality truck, I would not rule out trying any other thieves. My only complaint is the name. I really can't understand why they named it Thieves. So I can only hope that this is somebody's last name because if somebody in marketing decided that they should call a truck Thieve because, I don't know, stealing's kind of cool, it's not. And I think the name is dumb. And if it is supposed to be like Thieve, you spelled it wrong. So that better be somebody's name. Anyways, that's the main complaint I have about these trucks is the name, next grinding. So thanks for watching. It's been another truck review. And I hope this answers some questions about the most expensive skateboard trucks in the world. I can't back that claim up, I have no idea. Anyways, thanks for watching.